Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, a lot has been going on concerning the confraternity war between Black Ass and Supreme Air Confraternity in the city of Lagos and five people have been brought down since last week up to this morning. So for the people that are already a member of the NV family, I am sure you have seen the video that I posted today about the confraternity member that was brought down early this morning. So in this video, I am going to tell you guys everything that has been going on in Lagos and I will explain to you guys the people that were brought down, who they are and the people that brought them down. So before I go into it, I quickly want to tell you guys that I decided to take a few days break without posting anything concerning confraternity clash on this platform. And the major reason for that is because the places that this confraternity wars are happening, I have already sent quick updates and warnings to the people in the Envy family. So I believe that everyone already know that there is a confraternity clash in these areas. But however, I am posting this just because I want to reinforce to the people People that live around the area or for the new people that are also going to come across this video for them to know the things that are going on in these locations so with that out of the way let's dive into the video so there is a young man who is a member of AA and I don't want to make mention of his name in this video for security purpose. So the young man lives around Ojo and he is a very stubborn young man. It is said that the young man is a popular member of the AA hit squad around Ojo in Lagos and he has successfully pulled a lot of heat on his rival groups. So the young man is well known in that area by his rivals and everyone. So it is said that black ass members started looking for him. If you remember the last video Video that I posted about Lagos Cold War, you will remember that I posted a voice call that was recorded when black ass members called this particular young man because the thing about Lagos is that they all have each other's number and I really don't know how these people that belong to different groups have each other's number. So they called this young man and they told the young man that they were coming for him. So because of everything that was going on, the young man left Ojo and the black ass members later got an update that the young man was in Orile and they decided to go for him and this happened on Thursday last week so when they got to Orile to look for him they did not meet him that is when they met this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen now this young man is by the name of Shebe he is a popular member of AA and he was brought down Thursday last week by some young men that are said to be black ass members now they didn't really go for Shebe according to the voice note that is currently going viral they went for the other young man that left Ojo and when they got there they didn't meet the young man that they were looking for and they met this particular young man by the name of Shebe. Now the heartbreaking thing about this young man that was brought down is that him and his girlfriend always post cult related things on their TikTok. If you go to his TikTok page you will see him and his girlfriend posting a lot of cult related things and the heartbreaking thing is that after this young man was brought down on Thursday his girlfriend also posted on TikTok when she was crying and it was very heartbreaking I have said this time with that number if you are a confraternity member stop posting your face and everything you do with your confraternity on TikTok it is a very dangerous thing to do I really don't know how to advise people about this leave social media don't post your real face on social media you are a confraternity member the truth is that this thing that you guys are practicing is a gang and you don't just put your face out there and make yourself a target it is too dangerous i really don't know how to advise people about this leave facebook leave tiktok and also in your whatsapp status don't be posting your face and your confraternity things because you don't know who might just see it it is very important for you to hide your head as a confraternity member so after this happened on friday a young man by the name of kosoro was brought down in Ibejuleki and this particular young man is also said to be a member of Eye and when he was brought down they threw him in a feed that was soaked with water and the young man was face down inside water it is very graphic these things that I'm telling you is very graphic also when Shepe was brought down the pictures and videos are very graphic so after all this happened of course you know it's a confraternity war the other side must definitely retaliate so about 
three days ago, a young man was brought down in Ojo and the young man was brought down was said to be a member of Black Eyes and the young man was brought down by some AM members. However, Black Eyes members have said that a young man that was brought down in Ojo three days ago is not their member and this is according to words on the street. So yesterday, another young man was brought down in Ojo and this time, the person that was brought down is also said to be a member of Black Eyes and the young man was brought down by some AA members. And this is making it the second person that was brought down in two days in Ojo. So this morning, another young man was brought down. So the young man that was brought down this morning is a member of AA and he was brought down in broad daylight. And this happened this morning in Sele Harmony, Echo Was Road in Badagri. And according to ways on the street, when they brought down the young man this morning, it was in the presence of his father, which is very heartbreaking because in the video, you could hear when his father was begging them, telling them, Ejo, Ejo, he was begging them to leave his son alone. But the young man that wanted to bring the young man down did not listen to the father. And I am sure that most of you have already seen the video because I posted it on my WhatsApp status. And for those that haven't seen it, I am going to post the video on my Telegram channel so you can see it for yourself. So I am going to leave the link to the Telegram channel on the comment section and just a warning the telegram channel is private so if you go to my telegram and you report it your details is going to be sent to me and i am going to post your details for the entire public to see it is not by force to be part of this platform like i always tell people now let's talk about another thing that has happened in lagos state so according to ways on the street and the person that the thing happened to is currently in the hospital nobody knows if he's going to survive it so according to what happened happened on friday or saturday i really don't remember the particular day that this happened a young man who is said to be a member of black ass was beaten by some area members right there in new road in aj city and when they beat the young man they used machete and knife they used machete to cut all his body and the young man was also stabbed several times the young man is currently in the hospital he is not talking he is basically in a coma and nobody really knows if the young man is going to survive it or not and according to ways on the street, they are saying that there is going to be a confraternity war in AJ City very soon. And I am telling you guys, this is what you don't want to happen in AJ City. Whenever these two groups have a problem in AJ City, it is only the government that can settle it and a lot of people don't know this so i really hope and wish that this young man will be able to settle their differences right there in aj city and the entire lagos so that peace will return to the streets of lagos because peace is the only way forward anyway guys you are watching nigerian view